These look like they could be ears. What's down here? Ah, something red and white and fluffy there. Let's have a look. Oh, look, it's Skipper dressed as Father Christmas. What's that, Skipper? Is it time for the Green Balloon Club? Yes, it is. And I wonder if they have a present for me today. Gather around one and all. You gotta answer the call. Listen now, look around you. There's a magical world to explore. special dog toy. I wonder what she's going to get you. But Green Teen Christmas is about more than just presents. Really? Aren't presents part of Christmas too? Well, yes, but I think it's important we remember why we give presents. Here, let's have a look at this. It's beautiful. What is it? The story of Christmas. Some Green Balloon Club members gave it to us. Is that going to tell us why we give each other Christmas presents, Guy? Let's have a look, shall we? Once upon a time, there were lots of animals that lived in a stable in a little town called Bethlehem. There were goats, ducks, rabbits, and even a baby bull. They were very happy living all together in the stable. One special day, the animals were visited by an angel. Mm. Get ready for a special visit. Everybody get ready! Get the stable ready! Get the manger ready! That is a bed! Mm. Because tonight a very precious baby will be born here. The animals were so excited at the news as they'd never had guests in their stable before and they started to get everything ready. 
Meanwhile, Mary and her husband Joseph had been told by the emperor to travel from their home to Bethlehem. So Joseph had to get their faithful donkey ready to travel with them. This is a lovely donkey called Custer. I'm getting the donkey ready for the journey. Did you know that all donkeys have the cross on their back? Donkeys have really big ears, so they can hear very well. Come on, Mary, the donkey is ready. It was a long, hard journey on the rough roads, and Mary was very tired because she was going to have a baby. Little donkey, little donkey, on the dusty road, got to keep on plodding. When they arrived in Bethlehem, it was nearly time for Mary to have her baby. They tried to find a room to stay in, but the town was very busy. Sorry, there's no place in the inn. Go and find another place. No, 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 no room here. Go away. I'm so tired, Joseph. Have you got any room in your inn? Sorry, we're full and I'm busy. Oh, Joseph! The animals saw Mary and Joseph coming towards their stable and they welcomed them in. Wow, this is amazing! Thank you, animals! It was the perfect place for Mary to have her baby. the story sky no there's more to come but we'll finish it off later the story made me think about all the creatures living outside whilst we're indoors warm and enjoying our christmas perhaps we should think about what presents we should give them well that's a really interesting idea there aunt we could give the mini beast a bug box like the one that me and jay made the other week that would keep them warm in the winter whilst they hibernate you collected dried stems from the garden, ones that were hollow so the mini beasts could hide inside. You put them into a plastic bottle with the ends cut off, ready to hang up in the garden. And you made one with corrugated card, so that the bugs could hide inside the little holes in the cardboard. A bug box is definitely a good Christmas present to give to your local mini beasts. And what about the birds? It really helps if you can leave some food out for them. Oh, and water too. Of course. That's particularly important when it freezes. That's when it gets really hard for the birds to find water. Or you could even make a special bird feeder like Bill and Jelly did. Bill took the middle out of a grapefruit and Jelly mixed bird seeds with lard to go inside it. The lard is fat, which is very good for the birds at this time of year. It helps them to keep warm. Yeah, I just love that bird feeder. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bill. It was a pleasure. It was good fun. Enjoyed it. Nature Chris made a bird feeder too. But look, they put their lard and seed mixture into a pine cone. It doesn't look like a pine cone no more. I think the birds might like it, though. Yeah. Yeah.
Pick of the Bunch. My pick of the bunch this week is the holly. The holly is an evergreen tree with prickly leaves. At this time of the year, some holly trees have beautiful red berries. These berries are poisonous to us, but birds love them. So why not leave the berries on the tree as a Christmas present to the birds? Would you like to hear the next part of the story now? Yes, please. <laughs> Do you remember what happened so far? Yes. Mary and Joseph and the donkey went to Bethlehem. And they were going to sleep in a stable with the animals. That's right. Well... On the hills near Bethlehem, the sheep were being herded by shepherds in the fields. We've been working hard in the cold winter, caring for our sheep. Sheep have woolly coats to keep them warm in the winter months. Sheep have round, fat bodies and little short legs. These sheep have white bodies and black faces. As the shepherds looked after the sheep, the angel suddenly appeared before them. Do not be afraid! I have some very exciting news. Mm, hurry down to your stable in Bethlehem, because a very special baby is being born there, right now! So the sheep and their shepherds set off to find the baby. As the sheep made their way to the stable, there were some llamas in a faraway field. These are llamas. They're members of the camel family. They had very long necks and big eyes. They had big ears shaped like bananas. Llamas love to chew grass. The llamas noticed a very bright star shining in the east and they knew it was the sign of a great king being born. <gasps> Their owners went on the long journey to meet this baby. They followed the star which still shone in the sky all the way to the stable in Bethlehem. I loved it that Jelly was in the Christmas story. And I love the big shining star. I'd like to make a star. Let's make one then. First, turn it on the white side, then make it fold over like this and it looks a bit like a mirror a triangular mirror and out and out <laughs> then open it up again and you go over this side should i do it the other way now yeah to make a nice rectangle and open it up again then fold it the other way this, this way yeah. That nice shiny rectangle. It's shiny on this side. Look, you can see the folds. And what you have to do is turn it over to the white side and cut halfway through these lines. So that means not up to right in the middle. There. You done? Now if you make it so it's the white side up, you get these bits and make it go into the crack so it has pointy edges. Uh, so it's a bit like an arrow or an aeroplane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will look very pretty on the top of our Christmas tree. It will, won't it? There. there. Now, what you should have is one plain side and one shiny side. And what you have to do with the plain side is get the edges and overlap them so it pulls the sides in. And get some sticky tape and stick it together. And you do that for all of them. Can you help me a bit here, Kat? Okay, I'll overlap it. And you stick Thanks. it on. Done it. There, they're done. They, they look great. And what you can do is overlap it like that so you've got a nice big shiny one. Let's have a look. It looks beautiful. It'll look even better up on the Christmas tree. Yes, there's a big space. Would you like to hear the end of the story? Yes, please. So, the shepherds and the sheep 
We're following the star to the stable. That's right. And so are the llamas and the kings. Yep. Baby Jesus had just been born. So everyone gathered at the stable in Bethlehem. The shepherds gave him a sheep. gave precious gifts to him and that is why we still give presents today to remember the night a very special baby was born Starry Sky. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to all Green Balloon Club members. Sky, will you put our star up on the tree? Of course! Hey, I've got an idea for this week's spot. Why don't you take a look at the night sky? On a clear night, there are hundreds of stars to be seen, and even some planets. At the moment, one of the brightest stars in the sky is in fact a planet. The planet Venus. Go on, look at the stars. See which one you think is brightest. If you spot a bright star, you can even get yourself a green star. And if you go onto our Green Balloon Club website, you can collect a sticker for your online scrapbook. But first, you need to know what this week's secret pitch password is. So this week it's either the donkey or the star. Which do you think, Skipper, the donkey or the star? Good girl. Star? Yes, that's right. So remember, to go down to our Green Balloon Club website, this week's secret pitch password is the star. It looks great, Sky. thanks. I think our tree looks perfect. Aww. Maybe we should put our Christmas story underneath our Christmas tree. Yay! I really hope everyone has a very happy Christmas. All of us, all the Green Balloon Club members, Jelly, Bill, Nature Chris and all the animals... I'm really sorry to stop you there, Lily Rose, but we're coming into land! for a couple of weeks. But we look forward to seeing you again in the new year. Maybe you can make a Christmas star. And make sure you don't forget about the wildlife where you live. See you next year. Merry Christmas! Complete the sentence. A very merry... Henrietta Peck. Meatball. Mr Biscuits. Monkey Nut. No. Christmas. A very Merry Christmas! They are super cool. And this card comes with lots of love from Mummy, Daddy and your brand new sister, Holly. Hello, Holly. And happy birthday, Charlie. Evie, you are three today. And some of your friends have come to say happy birthday. And there you are. Look at that pretty face. You look just like a little pussycat. And this card comes with love from Mummy, Daddy and Baby Callum. Happy birthday. Ah, Jamie. Cool kid Jamie. You are celebrating your third birthday today. 
with a big birthday cake. What a treat and what a great picture. And this card comes with hugs and kisses from Mummy, Daddy, Grannies and Grandas and all your cousins in Northern Ireland. Happy birthday. Have lots of fun and save me a piece of cake. Ben, this big card is for you as you celebrate your fifth birthday today. And you are having wintry snowtime fun. And this card comes with lots of love from Mummy, Daddy and your little brother Ollie. Have a great day. Kessie, you are celebrating your sixth birthday today and you are going to have fun with Charlie, Lola and all our friends from CBeebies and I love that picture of you. And the card comes with love from Mummy, Daddy and Nana. Happy birthday. Look at this big card. It's a big number three and it's for you, Jack. You are celebrating your third birthday today. And this wonderful card comes with love from Mummy, Daddy, Katie, Connor and all your family. Happy birthday. Isabel, you're a birthday princess today. You are three years old and there you are in the birthday balloon. And this pretty card comes with love from Mummy, Daddy and all your family and friends. Have a wonderful day today. Keep sending your cards in nice and early to the usual address, which is CBeebies, PO Box 1234, London W12 6WX.